Well, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds certainly put a cat among the pigeons this week with some highly political social media posts attacking the government. Here is the offending tweet. Liars! Rishi Sunak, Michael Gove, Therese Coffey. You said you wouldn't weaken environmental protections, and yet that's just what you're doing. You lie and you lie and you lie again. Now, that literally reads like Keir Starmer has taken over their social media accounts. In my view, it's very intemperate language for a charity that's there to protect sparrows, finches and hummingbirds. In my view, they've made a blue tit of themselves. Now, it's not unusual for a campaigning charity to be critical of government policy. But this highly personal attack on individuals demonstrates how partisan the charity sector is becoming. With a political post on social media demonising the Prime Minister and two of his cabinet colleagues, the message is clear. These conservative politicians are bad people. On their Twitter account, the RSPB described themselves as nature's voice. But this controversial post suggests they're more like Labour's voice or the Lib Dems or the Greens. And this is a profound mistake, because whilst there is no issue with challenging government policy, Charities must remain politically neutral. And it's my view that the RSPB, which is a great organisation with a fabulous legacy of campaigning on behalf of nature, has been hijacked by a highly partisan social media team. What political agitators within charities seem to forget is that the donors who pay their wages and keep their campaigns afloat vote for all of the political parties, including the Conservatives, which is why they can be immersed in policy, no problem, but must stay out of politics. Now, the RSPB have apologised for the post, but it's a somewhat empty apology, given that this blatant piece of political propaganda has still not been removed from the site and has now been seen over 10 million times. They've apologised, but the message is clear. Sorry, but not sorry. Now, as you know, I'm the king of free speech and would not ever seek to censor any individual or any organisation. But charities have a very privileged and unique position in society. They enjoy tax free status and are prohibited by law from running political campaigns, except that's exactly what they've done with this post. And they've played the man, not the ball. Now, they're concerned that the government have done a U-turn on their promise to uphold EU environmental standards in relation to the construction of new homes. The discarding of certain EU rules in relation to water pollution will allow an extra 100,000 homes to be built by 2030. So the RSPB may have a point that the environment could be impacted, but the government, elected by the British people, must also fulfil their manifesto promise to the electorate to build more homes and to cut red tape following Brexit. There is, I'll accept, a political tension there, but that's one for the government and the opposition to navigate, not charities. For the RSPB to themselves behave like a political party and indulge in this tabloid mudslinging brings the organisation into disrepute and needlessly alienates a lot of people. Charities should enjoy widespread public support. They're not supposed to be echo chambers of one political worldview. And they shouldn't be participating in these highly personal attacks on individuals in government, which only adds to the toxic nature of political discourse these days. They're not the only ones, of course. Greenpeace disgracefully invaded Rishi Sunak's home in Yorkshire, breaching the safety of our elected prime minister and his young family. Oxfam have been told off by the Charities Commission for failing to avoid political bias with their rants about austerity. And Stonewall, the ultra-woke LGBTQ plus charity, is more or less at war with the government on a daily basis over its transgender policies. Now, I'm a passionate supporter of the charity sector in this country. It is world class. But as with so many of our great public institutions, it seems to have been infiltrated by a woke cabal of political activists. We're seeing the same in our corporations and the public sector, and frankly, it's scary. These activists do not enjoy widespread public support, but they behave like they do 
and they wield considerable influence and power. Charities should get back to what they do best, and that's fundraising and fighting for their causes in a way which is entirely non-political. The idea that what the RSPB have done this week is in any way justified or acceptable is for the birds.